Welcome to the Deadline Funnel Training on System IO. My name is Iran Bukai, the founder of Dotcom Truths, and I have an extensive YouTube channel on System IO tutorials, and this is one of them. So, what is a deadline funnel? A deadline funnel is a sales process that is set up where each registration into that funnel has a unique countdown timer to take advantage of an offer before it expires. A unique countdown timer refers to each individual visitor. They have their own countdown timer. So why should you have a deadline funnel in the first place? The short answer is people need a reason to buy. And a countdown timer where an offer disappears or a price increases or the door closes is a great way to create scarcity and urgency. If you've ever done a launch, you know that when you put a deadline where you close the doors in seven days or 10 days, when somebody knows that it doors are going to close, then they are more likely to make a purchase because of what's known as FOMO, fear of missing out. And so a deadline funnel is a way to create that same effect, but in a way that is evergreen. So when should you use a deadline funnel? So when a launch is over, when you are in a scenario where you've closed the doors to your membership or you've closed doors to your course, but you want to create an offer that is evergreen and you still want to keep the same level of urgency or scarcity for somebody to buy, then you can use a deadline funnel to create that same launch urgency, but in a way that is evergreen, meaning it's going to stay live, even though the launch is technically over. It's like creating a unique launch to every individual visitor, no matter when it is that they're actually registering to your funnel, your webinar, etc. So how do you set it up? First of all, I'm going to walk you through the steps, and then I will actually show you the behind the scene of system IO with examples. So step number one is you want to have a squeeze page or a registration. People enter the countdown. This is when the countdown starts for that person. This is the page where they register their email address to enter the deadline funnel. And from the moment they subscribe, their unique countdown timer starts and it's automatically tracked in system IO for that one individual. Then you have the order form, which is the offer with a deadline. This is the order form page where someone can make a payment on that page for that specific offer price. And it is available during that time frame, meaning it will be unavailable once that unique time countdown timer runs out. Now, it is possible you may want to have upsells and downsells. You may want to have a webinar somewhere in between or a launch series of multiple videos. All that's optional somewhere around here in between the registration to the order form. That's totally fine, just like you would with a launch. But the actual payment aspect, there is a deadline to that. It is mandatory to have a thank you page after the order form. And then the third step is to set up what happens after the deadline expires, which is either an order form slash sales page, which is a full price, or it can also be a wait list. So if you're closing the door, like somebody is just not able to join anymore, then you can actually have that option as well. So this is the page where people are redirected to after the unique countdown timer runs out, which indicates they missed out on the special offer. So what that means is that somebody's presented with an offer right here after they registered. They're told you've got five days here to get this offer for $20 or $100 or whatever it is. And if after five days or whatever the countdown timer choice you've made, they don't take action, then they get redirected to the full price page, which is $250. And so they lose out on the special deal. It doesn't have to be a pricing reason. It can also be bonuses. It can also be that the doors just close. It just depends on your strategy. Again, it is optional to have upsells and downsells, but it is mandatory to have a thank you page. I want to draw your attention to the different steps on this particular funnel. So you have a squeeze page, which as shown earlier, it is basically step one where people register. As soon as somebody registers on this page, on the squeeze page, then the person is added automatically to the deadline funnel process. So this is what it looks like. They will basically enter their email address in this particular case, like so. And then once they enter their email address, they click on get instant access and they'll be taken to the next page and they're added to the countdown 
flow of the deadline funnel. Now they'll be taken to this particular page, which is the opt-in thank you page. I'll just show you quickly what it looks like. And this is the page they are going to see. Now automatically they're added to the countdown timer and all that stuff. And you will see that there's a countdown timer right here as well. Now the countdown timer I showed you just now doesn't really matter. What matters is more what happens behind the scene with the deadline funnel, the countdown timer. So now step number two is as shown earlier, it's basically the limited time offer. So in this case, it is landingpagechallenge.com forward slash lifetime. And this is a $10 offer. But after 10 days, if they don't take advantage of this, then they lose the option to buy the $10 and they will be able to only buy it at $27. So first of all, you will notice that here there's an order form. There is an upsell and a downsell. Those are not necessary for a deadline funnel, but in this case, I do have them. So the mandatory stuff for a deadline funnel will be the order form and the thank you page, like I showed you. Now, once the time ends of whatever is set up in a deadline funnel, this page gets redirected to this page, which is the $27. Basically the same thing, but this page. And I'm gonna now show you how to set it up on the back end. So you will notice that there is this thing right here, this particular menu, and there is the automation rules, A-B test, stats, leads, etc., and there's deadline settings. So I'm gonna click on that. And now what you need to do is you need to click on enable feature. And if you click on this question mark, it will explain what a deadline funnel is. And obviously this is very limited. That's why you're watching this video to learn a little bit more about it. So we're gonna click on enable it. And then I'm going to say deadline page expires in 11 days, meaning this is the deadline page. And after 11 days, people will not be able to see it anymore. And the funnel step they will be redirected to is going to be this page, deadline 27 lifetime LPC 2.0. When should it happen? Midnight is what I did, that's fine. And then you could see it right here. Basically, this steps is basically what page it's going to be for the deadline funnel. So this is gonna be available, this is gonna be the redirect. So I'm gonna ignore, I'm not gonna tick this, I'm gonna tick this one, because this is the first page they can see. Meaning, after they register, they can see this page not before. So you could see where it says, this step will only be available after opt-in. So basically here you tick the order form, which is the limited time offer. And this one is when the offer expires where you send them to. Now, by the way, as I showed earlier, this doesn't have to be this page. I can actually redirect them to any other page. I can send them to a wait list. I can send them whatever they, wherever I want as well. In this case, I'm sending them to a, an order form, which is simply more expensive. Now I'm gonna click on save. Now what's gonna happen is if I now try to grab this URL, and I'm going to try and paste it in like so. You're going to see that it's automatically going to redirect to the 27 automatically. Why? Because I didn't opt in. I didn't register to even be able to access it. That's how the magic of the deadline funnel works is because people have to register to actually see the limited time offer and they will only be able to see it for a limited time during the countdown, their unique countdown, which is the whole point of the deadline funnel. Now that I've shown you the steps of a deadline funnel in theory with my slides, showed you the back end of system IO, I'm gonna show you an example of a deadline funnel that I have set up and what it looks like to the customer. So you can see that I'm in a different funnel. This one also has a deadline funnel set up with all the settings, enable deadline feature, 10 days, and a redirect with the time it's going to expire and which link it will redirect to. So with this particular setup, this is the actual registration page. Now, when somebody opts in, they're automatically added to a deadline funnel. Now, I specifically have actually registered for this same funnel a few days ago, and I'll show you the process. So what I did is I actually registered with this email address, ibukachi23 plus asc10 at gmail.com. And I registered on the 25th of June at 1 p.m. Now it is now 1 p.m on the 3rd of July. Now, I wanna draw your attention to the fact that the deadline funnel is meant to expire in 10 days. And now we are essentially eight days later. And so let me show you, this is the page. I've actually kept this tab up for this entire time. So you can see that the countdown timer here is actually two days left. And that's exactly what I want it to be. Now, just to give you an example, this is with the email address that I just shared, which is this one. But what I'm gonna do is I'm now going to take the same page 
and I'm going to register on a totally different browser. And when I register on a different browser, you're going to see that the countdown timer is going to be completely different. So I'm going to register now with this email address plus tutorial at gmail.com. Click on in get instant access. And now what's going to happen is it's going to take me to all of this, this page and I'm going to click on get lifetime option. And now you will notice the countdown timer here is completely different. This one is 10 days and 11 hours for this particular email address, this particular person, so-called. Whereas when you look at this countdown timer, it is completely different because each countdown timer is unique to the person that registered. So the last thing I'm going to show you is you can see that this is the browser that I just use newly, and this is a Safari browser. And this page to pay has 10 days left on a countdown, and you can see that it's $10 for this purchase. If I click here into the URL, you will see that it says forward slash lifetime. Now I'm going to go to Chrome, to this incognito browser. And you can see that this is the countdown timer that I started when I opted in with a different email address eight days ago. You could see the URL is the same, but the countdown timer is only two days left. And you could see that it's the same, 10 days. Now I'm in a totally different browser. This is Brave Browser. And you could see that I am now going to type in the exact same URL forward slash lifetime. I'm going to click on enter. And I did not opt into the deadline funnel on this particular browser. So I'm going to click on enter and pay attention how the URL changed so quickly. It changed immediately to lifetime dash something, something. I want to show it to you again. So you could see that this is the URL, affiliate startup community.com forward slash lifetime dash something, something. And this is a $47 purchase for this product. Now, again, the URL with just lifetime, this one is ten dollars not forty seven dollars and you can see that on this page get your lifetime access now for ten dollars before the prices go up to 47 and this particular has two days left and then if you scroll down to the bottom you can see that it is a ten dollar now we're going to enter this on the brave browser and i want you to pay attention how this url changes almost instantly click on enter and see the change immediately. Now, this order form is going to be $47, not $10. Because here, the person either did not opt in to the deadline funnel in the first place, or alternatively, they had their countdown timer expire. And that's what happens when you are using deadline funnel. That way, the urgency is truly there because it's simply going to disappear once X amount of time goes by. The last thing I want to teach you in this tutorial is when you have the order form after somebody joins or subscribes and then the countdown timer starts for them to the deadline funnel is when you go to actually edit the page, you can add the countdown timer. You don't have to, but I do recommend you do because that's the whole point of the scarcity. And when you click on the countdown timer, you can see that you can actually make it same as deadline funnel settings. And that's how it will automatically do whatever it is, depending on the customer. Now, if you don't have this element, you just scroll all the way down to the left and you simply drag and drop a countdown like so, click into it and click on the same as deadline funnel. I've already got this already, so I'm not gonna add a second one, it's not necessary, but that's just to give you an example on how to do it. So that's just one technical aspect that I wanted to share with you to make sure you know how to do this. Thanks so much for watching this training on deadline funnel. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comment section. If you are new to system IO or you would like to check out the paid plans, then you can go to a run.link forward slash 197 bonus. This has all my bonuses that I give when people use my affiliate link. And if you have any questions about deadline funnel, or you want to hire me or my team to help you with setting things up and review your strategy or do any design work or VA services, you can send me an email at runbukai at gmail.com. Love to hear from you and learn more about your project. That's about it. I'll speak to you soon.